Mm. Huh. Hot. Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home. I've got my coffee in hand and I'm ready to kick off another kitchen day. I'm telling you that these kitchen days have been monumental and absolutely pivotal, 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 pivotal for me in staying on track with healthy eating as well as just plain old preparing my kitchen and my pantries and my home for the week or weeks ahead. Um, we are making breakfast foods, we are making quick lunch foods, dinners, and snacks that is saving me a ton of time later in the week. And so this is something that I'm absolutely going to continue to do within my homemaking. And as I go along, I think I'm gonna refine the process a little bit more. We're not gonna continue to start at three o'clock in the afternoon, but that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes with mom life. I'm a popular girl today, my phone keeps going off. Um, anyways, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna share with you my list and get crack a lacking because we got stuff to do. Let's go. Okay, so here is a breakdown of the list. So we're gonna do some stuffed peppers. I actually already have the inside of the stuffed peppers done. It's just that they need to be stuffed and uh, put in the oven or however the recipe goes. Um, I did this a long time ago um, and I had extra filling left and so I froze it uh, for later and now is later. I need to chop some lettuce. I'm gonna make some smoothie packs. So I'm gonna get some fruit into little Ziploc baggies for smoothies. I'm going to attempt granola and granola bars or I'll just do one of the other. I'm also gonna make some homemade bread we're going to do more Egg McMuffins from a hubby, and I'm going to make the kids some homemade gummy bears, or gummies, or fruit snacks. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut uh, the peppers, cut the top off, scoop out all the seeds and membranes, and then I'm going to boil them between five and seven minutes. I, this is my mixture that has been cooked and frozen, and once the peppers have been stuffed I will go ahead and then I'll also add a bit of sauce so this is Classico sauce it's Italian sausage peppers and onions my husband had bought this a long time ago to just to do with pasta he's never touched it and I think that it will actually go really well with the stuffed peppers um, and then I'm gonna put everything in this Pyrex dish and stick it in the fridge <laughs>
here's where I'm at. I had this, all of this pasta sauce left. This was for the stuffed peppers. So rather than letting that go to waste, because I'm not gonna eat this and neither will my kiddos, I figured that what I would do for my husband's lunches is I would cook these um, meatballs. I froze these January 18th and these are just uncooked. Um, and so they are just um, lightly, lightly thawed and I am going to put them in my pan and cook them for about 30 minutes. I can put these in the oven um, frozen and they'll cook in like 30 minutes and it's all good to go but I did thaw them just a teensy bit anyways um and then I'll dump the sauce over I'm not going to cook them in the sauce it just doesn't make sense to do that um he'll reheat everything at work and then I will put these um later during the week when I'm making his lunch I'll put these on uh, I have some nice big hamburger buns from Costco and then I'll add some mozzarella cheese and just make like meatball subs for him. check-in where I'm at right now. I'm just working on peeling hard-boiled eggs and then I'm going to chop them up and put them in a container. And then over here I have just got my onions caramelizing. It smells delicious in here. This is going to be for my French onion soup and I think they're almost ready to go and I will add my beef broth and um, everything, all the other ingredients. The kids are just having some chicken tenders for their dinner. They're watching a little Peppa Pig and we are moving right along. So a quick check-in. What I've done is I've made myself three little salads for the week. Um, I'll, I have some lids. I'll stick the lids on these. I will generally put grape tomatoes with my salads. However, I don't like tomatoes in the fridge. They get awfully mealy. So I will just add those before I eat them. I also have an avocado that I will add as well um, when I go to eat my salads um, and then these are just small salads I usually like a really big salad and that's kind of the focus or the main portion of my lunches um, and so if I'm feeling like I really want a big salad I'll just add some more lettuce to this now I did go ahead and add tomatoes this is for my husband for tomorrow for work um, for his lunches I did add the tomatoes because he gets up awfully early in the morning he's out the door like at 5 30 so um 
I will throw on some dressing uh, in a well I'll put some dressing in a little container for the side so that is what's going on there I'm going to chop up the rest of these eggs and then I'm going to work on my caprese salad for dinner tonight my French onion soup looks delicious um, it's all good to go. It's seasoned very well. So let's take a look at my list. Um, I did the stuffed peppers. I chopped the lettuce and hard boiled the eggs and then did a whole bunch of other things that weren't on my list. So that means I will likely be doing a kitchen day tomorrow. nicely which is really exciting and I'm going to move on to the uh, banana oat muffins I'll show you that recipe and I'll also leave a link for it down below so here's a picture of them this looks so good um, recipe hasn't loaded yet Lots of... okay there we go so you need some Greek yogurt two bright bananas I think I'm probably just going to double this because I have four bananas to use up, but this is the recipe. And again, I will have this link down below. baking. Um, I have come across some not lovely eggs in my life and it also helps if you happen to get a shell so you can scoop that out easier within a little container than maybe say your whole batter but yes I have found some not lovely eggs so that is just something that I always do when I'm baking. And a side note with this recipe I would not double it. Um, my mixer is quite full or my blender is quite full already and I still have to add banana. Um, I think it's all gonna work and it'll be fine. However, I think you'd have more, it'd be a little bit easier if you just did one batch at a time, but you live and learn.
And here is how the muffins came out. They were a lot puffier when they first came out. And then they start to deflate, which I really like. Um, the kids have been out here several times asking for a muffin. They think it smells delicious. It's partly bread and partly the muffins that they are after. So, there we go. And I've got my first loaves of bread baking. And I have an overwhelming amount of dishes to do. I'm just, oh, I'm so not even ready for this. Here are my bread loaves. They turned out so good. I'm so, so excited about them. They smell absolutely delicious. I butter the tops of them. Um, and I will likely, I don't know if I'll freeze two loaves or just one. Um, we'll see how things go. So I wanted to share with you that I did get everything cleaned up. Except for the muffin pans. Those need to kind of soak a bit. Um, the recipe says that you just need to either grease the papers or grease the muffin tin wells really well. And even though I did that, um, lots of bits stayed in. It's not coming out easily, so um, anyways, I, I did it. <laughs> Got it all cleaned up. I threw a load of uh, laundry in the washing machine, some towels. We've had some bread. It's so delicious. Um, it is 9.36 and I'm making hubby some dinner, some French onion soup, and um, I don't know what else. Maybe bread and who knows. Anyways, hope you guys had a great day, great week, and I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.